In 1943, it was one of our strategic aims to draw as many German forces as possible away from the Russian front and French coastal areas and to contain them on the Italian peninsula while liberating as much of Italy as might be possible with the means at our disposal. We knew it and the enemy knew it. We had to take it even though the immediate cost would be high. We took it and the cost in relation to the later advance was not excessive. By its very nature, this success worked bitter hardships upon each individual soldier. If you think about it, the army is just a big Ponzi scheme. At the top is the army, in this case the 7th led by some general named Patton. Then the corps. They got their own general, a homely looking guy named Omar Bradley. Next, the division, and they keep finding generals. In this case, one Lucian Trusca. In between, you got your regiment, battalion, company, platoon, squad. Then you get to me, Private Benny Travis. I'm a rifleman, and the lowest form of life in the army. I'm a replacement. The army has regulations for everything. When to eat, how to dress, who to salute. One of the regulations says guys like me can't question anything. So here I am. A college kid from Austin, Texas who volunteered to fight the Japanese for bombing Pearl Harbor, heading for Africa. How crazy is that? 